Hey Aquas, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Um, cross watchers, you're welcome here as well, but please make sure you guys flip and switch the roles and also take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation, okay? So let's tap in Aqua. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters. Please return any spell work, any dark magic sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Um, me and my loved ones, please return it back to the sender. Thank you so much. So let's see, uh, Aquarius, let's tap in to your energy. Let's see what's going on with you all. What does Aquarius need to hear and know at this time, spirit? <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see, Aquarius. The messages for Aquarius. So we have fake flexing, pretending to have money, material wealth, putting on a front all for show. Then we have no limits. Nothing can stop them. Continues on with our restriction going their own way. What does that mean? You could be on the Aquarius Capricorn cusp. What does no limits mean? For awkward. Lonely. Having no one. Wanting. Companionship. Isolated. Loner. Outcast. Okay. We're going to see what that's about. What else for Aqua? Money problems. <laughs> Someone could be in debt to their credit cards, burning through cash, irresponsible with money. What else? Divine feminine. This situation involves a divine feminine, intuitive, accepting, heart-centered. What about this divine feminine? Deranged. <laughs> Weird, strange, and twisted individual. Yeah, grown and rich. Child with earth angel poking out. <laughs> So somebody here thought you was weird, Divine Feminine. Now they in regret. They thought you was weird for something that you do. Y'all could be uh, tarot readers. You could be light workers. You could be some kind of like star seeds or something like that. You're very different. You you handle things very differently. I, I'm going to leave these out because that's funny to me. <laughs> that's funny. So somebody here kind of Sagittarius in their chart. I'm hearing Sagittarius. So yeah, somebody here thought you was weird. Um, but you're sitting over here rich as hell. You're in your purpose. And you're doing work of the work of um your spirit team, God, source, whatever you subscribe to. Yeah. Somebody here fucked up. Yeah, six of cups, ace of pentacles. Now they want to come give you an offer. Some of you guys could be teachers. You could be daycare like um, workers. Okay, um, you can work with kids. You're very gifted though. All right, yeah, Ace of Swords. Upright. So let's see what this is. So what is no limits with lonely? What is this? Now somebody, somebody else is being outcasted now. It's like you were the outcast, you were picked on, people thought you were twisted or deranged or, uh, I don't know. It's like now they ask is being looked at as twisted and deranged. What's no limits <laughs> with lonely for Aquarius? Or somebody could be obsessed with you. They're obsessed with your energy, whoever you are, divine feminine. What's no limits with lonely? Okay, they go to Sagittarius. That's what I felt too. Um, uh, temperance in reverse. So yeah, something is just out of balance. It's off. Definitely, somebody here could have been trying to antagonize you, pick on you. There's some kind of like discord or, or conflict that you're going through with somebody. It's because they're miserable. They're lonely. They don't have anybody else to pick on. So they want to pick on somebody that they shouldn't have fucking picked on. Because <laughs> God going to tap that ass. All right. <laughs> you can't pick on an earth angel that's here to do something. You're bitch. You're in the way. Spirit is not going to let you keep doing that to somebody. So, okay, yeah. So, somebody here did this out of desperation. They were very hasty with whatever the fuck they did. All right, three of wands could be an Aries here. Three of wands is Aries, sun, energy. So, yeah, so the three of wands is growth, expansion. It's, um, some of you guys could be traveling or moving here. As well, because you could just be tired of clashing with somebody. It's like somebody keeps trying to antagonize you or something. Um, you could be waiting on something. We're gonna clarify the three of wands to see, but this is waiting for your ships to come in moving forward. 
um looking towards your future <clears throat> travel knight king of swords in reverse yeah so somebody here's a liar all right very manipulative very oppressive somebody here could be very controlling um the king of swords in reverse when they're in reverse they, they they are very judgmental so this could be somebody here that judged you the wrong way what's this temperance in reverse somebody here could be waiting on you to come back and i feel like you're not because you know that somebody's lying so it's like they're gonna be waiting forever bitch because what's the temperance in reverse Yeah, nine of swords. Somebody can have a Gemini, um, Mars. So somebody here is worried, they're stressed. Okay, or somebody is causing someone stress because they're antagonizing them. Um, or worried about the fact that you and them, you you and them are not speaking, you guys are clashing, so they could just be thinking about it a lot. It's like somebody is thinking about something time and time again. How something is in balance, how something is off, how something has not healed between you and them. All right, what's this three of wands? Yeah, queen of cups in reverse. So um, the queen of cups in reverse. Could, so I feel like you've broken free from somebody you were giving too much to. I feel like you were overly giving to somebody. You, you trusted somebody too much with your feelings, your heart your emotions and they completely stabbed you in the back so i feel like you're moving on from this person queen of cups in reverse um this could be somebody that could be very spiteful very vindictive as well or frivolous very clingy too let's see who's the queen of cups in reverse king of wands justice in reverse so yeah, it's like um you're having maybe the carriage and the um <clears throat> you're being a leader here. You're taking the lead and you're walking away from somebody possibly. You're taking action to get away from somebody to expand, to grow, to continue to build um internally and externally. All right. Yeah, it's like you you're taking action, you're leaving somebody behind. Somebody here was taking advantage of your emotions. Somebody knew that you were like really into them you would give them anything you would do anything i feel like that's where you fucked up at right and they yeah they they, they really did you uh dirty okay this could be somebody that came in and out like of your life for sex i don't know if they were trying to fill a void or what but now y'all not speaking or now y'all just y'all just you're not seeing eye to eye with this person <laughs> and i feel like you don't trust them anymore with the queen of cups and reverse this is your trust being fucked up with them you don't trust them this person could be trying to uh return like come towards you but i feel like you moved away for some of you you could definitely live at a distance from this person you pull back your feelings your emotions from them what's this king of swords in reverse ten of wands in reverse yeah you're dropping this burden somebody here is overly burdened because they they know that they fucked up they know that they told a lie or they judged you wrong all right, cause you to be scatterbrained or this person was scatterbrained when they made this fucked up ass decision. Yeah, causing an injustice, Libra energy. For some of you, there's like dirty lawyers that I'm, I keep saying this in y'all's reading. There's like dirty lawyers, dirty cops, judges, or somebody around you is just grimy as fuck. Very controlling, I don't know. But definitely some kind of injustice here happened. Libra energy. Somebody could have a Sagittarius Saturn. What's this 10 of wands in reverse? Let's see. Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody has given you a hard time. And it's because their judgment has been off about you or they judged you, like I said, wrong. And which caused an injustice or imbalance between you and them. This is somebody here that continues to not take accountability for something time and time again, not tell you the truth, not tell you about what kind of injustice here happened. Somebody can have a sad moon. So yeah, nine of wands is like, uh, I feel like you're very guarded. You're offloading this bullshit here because somebody just won't apologize, won't say shit, won't do the right thing want to keep lying and shit so i feel like you're done with them you just close them out and that's what it is you learned your lesson with the nine of wands i feel like you're very guarded very defensive yeah and this person is very hard to compromise with they're very stubborn 
Yeah, I feel like this person they they quickly turn into a goddamn uh they try to they try to like fake flex on you or something like that. And it's like bitch like what? <laughs> like, okay, you guys could be saying nine nine nine. And yeah, so let's see. Somebody here has to work really, really hard for something too. You could be a very hard worker. But I feel like you're just drained. You're tired of dealing with this, this damn person. They suck the life out of you. What's this fake flexing right here? Page of Cups <laughs> and the Nine of Cups. So this person here could be putting on the front. Yeah, they're having an, somebody's going through an awakening. Could be a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody could have a Pisces, Jupiter. But the page of cups is somebody here wanting to come in and apologize. This person could be very shy, very timid, very childish. They could be very naive, very gullible here, this person. For some of you, this is a new person coming in your life. This person had the nerve to fake flex on you, and now you're meeting somebody else. You're meeting somebody new. You could definitely have some good news coming in. A wish is going to be granted to you with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups. Some good news here. I feel like you're very fertile at this time, so if you don't want to get pregnant, be, be careful, all right? A lot of fertility. But the Nine of Cups with the Page of Cups, I feel like somebody is looking to looking for some type of fulfillment from you. It could be sexually. Okay, so you just need to be mindful too. But I feel like um, this person could have fake flexed on you. And now they're trying to like, they they need something. Let's see. What's fake flexing? <clears throat> yeah, page of swords. So planning or strategizing about how to talk to you. This person could be a player. They play a lot of mind games. But we're going to see. This person could be watching you somehow, maybe online or something like that. What's this page of cups? Five of swords, yeah. <laughs> Somebody could have an Aquarius Venus. So the five of swords is like one to win something at all costs, okay? They still haven't changed, though. Whoever this is, they want you back, but they haven't changed. That's why it says no limits. They're going to come towards you too regardless. <laughs> However they're going to do it. Y'all could be getting communication. A lot of it. A lot of it could be coming in. I feel like this person, if they're online or if you follow them on any kind of platform, you could possibly see them posting pictures or acting like they're okay. They're not. They're, they're really, really struggling with why the fuck or how the fuck y'all got so far apart from each other. But the Five of Swords, this could be... What's this Five of Swords? Let's see. Because I'm getting a lot. What's the Five of Swords? The Judgment. Yeah, like I was saying, a, a Awakening. So now I just feel like, excuse me. Yeah, this is definitely for somebody from your past that wants your forgiveness. They want a second chance with you. But the way that they're coming at you is very childish. I, I don't feel like you're going to give a fuck about what they have to say. Yeah, it's like this was a missed opportunity. Something could have happened, um, bad timing between you and somebody. The timing wasn't right or something like that, but I feel like you're slowly losing interest. You're slowly pulling your energy back from this person. There's a lot of delays and shit here. This person here moved hella fucking slow. All right, but the judgment is an awakening. I feel like they're awakening. They're going through an awakening. They're saying something about you. You're possibly going to have to make a decision and stand on your decision. But somebody here wants to come back for a second chance. And I just feel like it's bullshit <laughs> with the five of swords. I feel like this could be you maybe fighting back, standing your ground or something like that. Because the five of swords doesn't always mean conflict. But it could be. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. It's like you you could be awakening today, ass, and seeing something about them. How they're a fake flexor. But they try to act like they're all innocent or like, you know, ain't shit going on with them. No. What's this Nine of Cups? Some of y'all could be having a lot of psychic upgrades. A lot of like, uh, like, um, yeah, intuitive hits here about something. <clears throat> but yeah, with the judgment, I feel like this is a karmic lesson that you've learned. And I feel like you're standing your ground against somebody that's a fake flexor. 
seven of swords in reverse somebody could have an aquarius moon so yeah something is coming out this is either a strategy or a plan that didn't work or somebody here is confessing something it's like they want to turn over a new leaf because they see that you you're their wish fulfillment they see something about you differently or something like that yeah What's the seven of swords in reverse? What do they want to confess? What secret is coming out? Yeah, that they are in love with you or that they had another lover. Somebody else was on the side. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Yeah, eight of cups that they walked away from this person. <laughs> yeah, so, so you could have a choice in lovers or this is this person here that is trying to like, I don't know turn their behavior around but i feel like there's a part of them that really don't want to tell the whole truth for some of you <clears throat> this person here don't want you to know that they were using you for sex they were going back and forth between you and somebody else dealing with a fake flex or they were the ones that was fake uh, fake flexing on you but the lovers is definitely violence okay it's somebody here sees that you're there probably their counterpart uh and you know in some sort of way so now I feel like they're trying to turn over a new leaf because I feel like for some of you, you could be in love. You could have a new person for some of you. Could be anything. What's the page of swords? <clears throat> the Hierophant. <clears throat> Excuse me. So towards energy. So somebody has learned some kind of lesson. You could be a teacher. You could be somebody that really gives good advice. You could be... um. You could be into divination, the occult. Yeah, somebody is learning something about you. You could be very spiritual with the Hierophant or something like that. Or you could be dealing with somebody that's like this Aquarius. But I'm getting a lesson that has been learned. Somebody here could be very traditional. They don't really go against their tradition. They don't want to change up something. Very, like, stuck in their ways here. But I feel like now somebody wants a high level of commitment with you. Or they could be in a commitment that they're hiding. Yeah, with an empress in reverse. What's this Hierophant? Let me see. What's the Hierophant? Because the page of swords. Some of you guys could be picking up a new skill here. You're learning something new about um, the occult, divination, um, tarot readings, or something. You could be getting a tarot reading done or watching. Somebody is watching you do tarot readings or you do something where you're a leader. What's the Hierophant? Yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody, this person here could be in a commitment. Somebody here is in a long-term commitment. And so they're playing these mind games here. They're, they're, I don't know if they want a commitment with you. You're going to have to make a decision. I see a lot of weighing options, making uh, decisions. Some of you guys could be making a financial decision that's coming up or something like that. Where the government, is, like where a government institution is involved or a big institution is happening. Some of y'all could also be in school. You're learning something. Or somebody is. But the two of pentacles, somebody here could have played mind games with you about being in a connection or that they're already in or something like that. Two of pentacles, if somebody here is trying to strategize on how to balance something out, because I feel like their end goal is to get a commitment from you. But I feel like they did too much. What's it? Let me see. Somebody can have a Capricorn Jupiter. What's this two of pentacles right here with this Hierophant? Yeah, Knight of Swords in reverse. So, so yeah, this person here is a follower. Somebody could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp. For some of you, somebody here I'm getting, whoever this is is not a leader at all. Somebody here is a fake ass leader or they're trying, I don't know if they're trying to compete with you or compete. Maybe the third party is trying to compete with you. I don't know, they, but they're learning from you though. <laughs> They're picking up something from you to copy you or to keep things balanced between them and somebody else. It's like somebody here maybe knows that um somebody wants to be with you because you're their divine feminine. But a third party is like jealous about that. Is what I'm getting too. Knight of Swords in Reverse though is somebody that's a goddamn bully. Some of y'all could be having to make a decision here to go tell the authorities that somebody's trying to bully you or... I don't know, because the Knight of Swords in Reverse, though, is somebody that's a coward, they're a punk. They're not a leader at all. I feel like um, somebody here could have been telling you, too, like, hey, go with the flow. Don't really, 
think too much into it but they never really gave you the commitment they kept juggling you for a very long time with somebody they were in a very long commitment with and they probably still are <laughs> but the knight of swords in reverse is somebody here that's a leader i mean that's a, that's not a leader there could be rumors and shit about you or people are talking about you saying that you're not really a leader or you're not really who you claim that you you are Is Knight of Swords in reverse? Who is this? Somebody here felt like they, they're they a know-it-all. Whoever this is has an inferiority complex. What's this Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Five of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus Mercury energy. I feel like you're teaching somebody how to go with the flow of things or you're telling somebody about their fucked up ass behavior. You're, you could be telling on somebody. It's like you're speaking something. You're speaking the truth out about somebody here that's a fake person around somebody else. For some of you is what I'm getting to. Yeah, somebody that somebody is in a connection with or a relationship with. Yeah. Somebody here is connected to a cheater, a liar, a con artist. Somebody that's very reckless or whatever the fuck. Somebody could have a Taurus Mercury. Because the five of pentacles is coming out of um hardship, com uh, overcoming obstacles when it comes down to poverty, money issues abandonment wounds or whatever this is somebody here is learning something from you or they're like they're like taking ideas from you to play mind games with somebody else to keep them stuck and stop them from coming towards you is what i'm getting <laughs> somebody wants the same position that you're in <clears throat> but somebody here could be stealing ideas from you they're picking up what you're you're doing and then taking it and creating their own uh business with it or whatever you know yeah, somebody is false around somebody. They're fake flexing, but and they they're taking shit from you. So whoever this is that has feelings for you here, they they're being held back by somebody that's a copycat. <laughs> yeah, nosy. Somebody that's nosy. Twelfth house. Yeah, you're you're deep into maybe like the yeah hidden truth, secrets, dreams one has. You could be getting your messages through your dream state. Hidden strengths and weaknesses, the unconscious and karma. Yeah, you're you are um because Pisces is very. They're the high priestess, so you're definitely deep, probably deep into the occult or something like that. Somebody's taking your ideas and trying to make it seem like it's them that's... <sighs> you know what I'm saying, y'all. So, yeah, it's weird. So, let's move on. What's money problems? <laughs> What's money problems here? Somebody created a whole fucking mess. This Ace of Swords in reverse, Ace of Pentacles, Upright, and the Emperor. Wow. Aries energy, the star. There you are, Aquarius. So the emperor is here. That's divine masculine. We have divine feminine up here. So the emperor. So I'm getting there could be a new opportunity coming in for a business for you, um, Aquarius. This could be a this could be a start of a business, a new home, because the emperor talks about structure, organization. Some of you guys could be opening up your own organization. You guys could be coming into some money or something like that, which is going to make you feel more stable, more secure. There could be a new opportunity being offered to you here of commitment to from a, uh, this person could have kids or you could have kids here. But there's a new beginning, a new solid and stable beginning, a beginning that you can trust. Because uh, something here failed, something failed with the Ace of Swords in reverse, something that you're not really clear on or lacking clarity on. What's this Ace, Ace of Swords in reverse? There could be some definitely some hostility between you and somebody. What's the Ace of Swords in reverse? All right, yeah, Four of Cups in reverse. So, so definitely something wasn't a success. It failed. So now you could be maybe getting up and doing something about a situation, uh, seizing a different opportunity. Four of Cups in reverse. Somebody could have a Cancer Moon here. So this is like you not trying to miss out on any more opportunities um, or moving away from something that just failed. It didn't work. Something was a whole, was a lie or you could have been stuck in a very hostile environment where there's a lot of arguments and shit like that. It's like somebody's tired of dealing with somebody's ass and it was a, it was going to fail anyway. Some kind of plan or strategy to it, it failed possibly. Hmm. You guys can be seeing 444-555-222. What's the Ace of Pentacles then? Somebody sees an opportunity. They did something. They decided to take maybe a different opportunity. And now they ask. They're stuck. <laughs> they're stuck. What's this Ace of Pentacles? 
king of pentacles yeah some of you guys were going through money issues i feel like you guys are coming into some money there's a new opportunity that's being presented for you for some of you, you need to watch out for a bad business deal somebody is a bad partner or they're they're bad to work with this is somebody here that's gonna fucking have your business going under in no time okay you're gonna lose hella fucking money this person here could be very greedy a thief okay somebody is somebody is not um a boss okay what's this king of pentacles in reverse this could be a thief a user somebody is just very greedy they're selfish what's king of pentacles in reverse yeah, the tower in reverse. Aries energy. So it could be an Aries. King of Pentacles is Taurus, Aries, Cuts. Could be a Taurus or Aries here. Something is coming out about you actually being a boss. Something about your business here. Somebody lied about something. And it's coming out to regardless. It's inevitably going to come out. Tower in reverse. Some of y'all, somebody here is trying to avoid a financial loss. They're trying to avoid going bankrupt or having to, you know, file bankruptcy or having some kind of loss here. But it's going to come to an end anyway and you're going to get something better. So I feel like if you're trying to hold on to something that's not for you, you need to let it go. It's going to fail to regardless. Somebody's marriage could be falling apart too. Somebody could be going through a divorce. And get trying to get their money back straight now. I feel like there's an opportunity that's going to come in for that if you pay attention. But for some of you, you really need to watch out for, um yeah, Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Because whoever the fuck you're going to work with or whatever this is, somebody can have a Capricorn Mars. This person is lazy. This is somebody here that really is not going to put in any effort, no time into anything. Somebody here could be in a commitment too, but they're a cheater. And it's going to come out anyway. What's what's the Emperor in reverse? I mean, not in reverse. Damn. Okay, yeah, the Three of Cups. Somebody could have a Cancer Mercury. So, <clears throat> Ten of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Mars. So, this could be somebody you have children with, Aquarius, or, or however the situation is going. I'm getting, um, somebody is trying to get their money back straight. There, there could be a celebration or something coming in. For some of you, you're reconciling with your divine masculine. This person here wants to reconcile with you after a divorce or a breakup. I feel like there's some kind of dysfunction in a home where somebody has children. All right, there could be a lot of like partying, socializing, drinking, or this person could be very social. That could be you, Aquarius. You do have, that's the 11th house. You affiliate with a lot of people possibly, but, or it's somebody else, but... What's the what's this three of cups about? Let's see. Hmm. The Empress in reverse. Okay, Taurus Libra energy. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck every day people call me when I'm working. I'm so sick of that. Like for real. The devil. Yeah, so for some of you, there, there's, yeah, so some, your baby mama or whoever this false-ass twin is of yours or whoever the fuck this is wants to reconcile with you with the empress in reverse. Somebody that's insecure, they're unstable. They could party a lot, drink a lot. They have a lot of friends or they just into a whole bunch of shit that you're not into. I feel like you're in your bag or you're trying to focus on your money and somebody else is trying to steer you off your path. I feel like they create a lot of dysfunction. Okay, or this masculine here wants to reconcile with you, but they have this bitter-ass baby mama around, somebody that's insecure, jealous, hateful, whatever, you know. Somebody wants to reconcile with you or party with you or do something. And I feel like you're going to be standing in your power when this person tries to bring their ass back or these friends or whoever this is. What's this Ten of Cups in reverse? It's like somebody's trying to change their ways too, though. Yeah, the chariot in reverse. Yeah, somebody's realizing that these family members or these friends or whoever it says you have children with is blocking your success, blocking new love, always arguing, fighting. You could be dealing with a cancer with the chariot in reverse. So, yeah, this is like not having a sense of direction, feeling lost, or it could be a family member or a friend here that is very aggressive or very forceful or just like trying to like, I don't know, but I feel like whatever this is, is a turn off. They trying to like, um, 
get you to lose sight of an end goal here. Something that you're trying to get to. It could be this damn divine feminine, this earth angel that's so that's proclaiming that people are saying that's deranged or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Okay, like, bitch, it looks like all this shit here is y'all deranged shit. Whoever the fuck these people are with these goddamn problems. So, um, yeah, somebody's family is quite, for some of you, you could have been dealing with somebody that was abusive. All right, what's, what's divine feminine with deranged earth angel grown and rich? What is this? <laughs> okay, period. <laughs> Yeah, King of Cups. Yeah, this is who somebody got feelings for. It's Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody is breaking free and leaving a Queen of Cups in reverse. Whoever was, was with a karmic. It's this karmic woman. For some of you, your masculine is leaving a karmic. King of Cups. Yeah, with the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, and the Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah. For some of you guys, you could be in a relationship with a Scorpio. The divine, Whoever the divine feminine is. Yeah, somebody got some competition here. Because they done fucked up by dealing with this damn family member that's, or this baby mama, whoever the fuck this is. But somebody have a Scorpio Mars. So I'm getting a manifestation is coming in or you're trying to manifest this divine feminine or they're trying to manifest you, one or the other. But the King of Cups is somebody that's very compassionate, very loyal, very kind and caring. This could be, this person could have... um yeah, they could be feminine. King of Cups is feminine. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's feminine energy. They just... Well, this could be a man that's in love with the divine feminine. They're in, uh, they have a lot of feminine energy in their chart, possibly. I don't know. But let's see. What's the King of Cups? This King of Cups could also be a, a, a spirit guide, too. Somebody is an alchemist, too. They're very powerful. Very. They know how to alchemize and transmute their energy and they're getting over something fairly quick okay yeah eight of swords in reverse yeah so somebody here left something behind eight of swords in reverse whoever this divine feminine is if this is you aquarius you found your way out of something all right you escaped something i feel like you can see something clear now you gain you regain your power you got your power back eight of swords in reverse is definitely overcoming an obstacle you could be overcoming like some kind of abusive. I'm carrying out like abuse or something. Somebody's overcoming some kind of like abusive relationship or whatever. What's this eight of swords in reverse? Yeah, queen of wands. Yeah, somebody is standing in their power. <laughs> they got their power back. Six of cups in reverse. For some of you, you're leaving a fire sign behind. A fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. It could be an Aries. Somebody could be on the Aries, Pisces, Cusp with the Queen of Wands here. Yeah, we have the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands, so a match. And it's clarified with the Queen of Cups. So yeah, you, you're you setting yourself free from somebody you don't trust anymore. This could actually be your counterpart. For some of you that you don't you don't trust, you were over, over giving to this person. You could have moved away from this person or something like that. Maybe this could have been a, a counterpart like connection, but I feel like it was maybe a little bit karmic. It's karmic because maybe there was just a lot of sex involved, a lot of passion. Um, maybe you guys were just supposed to teach each other something. Um, whoever your masculine is, they leaving this third party. They they leaving this person for sure. What's uh what's the magician? <clears throat> Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you sent something back to somebody too. <laughs> For some of you, you sent something back to somebody or you just took your power back by just cutting off communication with someone. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius Mercury. So yeah, I mean, yeah, could have a Sag Mercury in their chart. So with the Eight of Wands in reverse, yeah, something is slowly like losing its grip on you, um, losing its power. Something is, whatever, whoever had power over you, I feel like they is it's, it's not working anymore. <laughs> All right. Somebody could be sending you negative energy. I just feel like all you're doing is transmuting. You're creating with it. Just period. You, you're very good. Um, Yeah, you could be some kind of like witch or something. You could be a healer or something like that. You have witchy powers if you don't cl uh, classify yourself as a witch. I mean, nothing's wrong with being a witch. It's just all about your intention. So if you're a dark witch or you're a white, or you're a white witch. I mean, I just, I don't, I don't see what the problem is. There's light and dark to everything, even religious, religious fat. When people are religious, 
<clears throat> there's dark and light to that shit too so i don't know but everybody has their own beliefs so whatever but let's see what's this magician here with this eight of wands in reverse <clears throat> yeah three of pentacles in reverse you had a devil this was a toxic ass contract that you were in that's been broken some kind of spell or something has been lifted to uh, aquarius whoever the divine feminine is there was a spell put on a divine feminine to make it seem like there was a, a nice contract here with somebody but they kept being stuck they're like stuck somewhere with a karmic but and that's not your person whatever this contract is they're not your person it's maybe just a catalyst or something i keep getting that for y'all okay Yeah, but the three of fun schools in reverse is somebody that hasn't learned their lesson. Somebody here, somebody that's stuck with somebody else or in a contract with somebody else or whatever. They haven't learned their lesson and it fucked y'all contract up. So I feel like you took your power back. I don't know. Some magic was being done though. I'm I'm getting that for sure. Three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody that's not putting in the effort, the time. They feel like a failure or they have failed. They definitely failed at something. Whatever this plan was. It could have definitely been a third party involved here that was doing something that went back on their ass. Something went back on somebody. What's this three of pentacles in reverse? Yes, yeah, some type of illusion. Clear, yeah, the hangman in reverse. Pisces energy. Somebody, uh, you guys could have a Scorpio. Um, Somebody could have a Scorpio Venus here. But... I'm definitely getting some kind of like illusion has been clear. You're seeing the truth about a situation. Reality has set in. Somebody here that someone was working with could have been very superficial and kept them stuck or trapped. All right, or this is what somebody did to this divine feminine and now this shit is going bad. Something was a definitely, yeah, a missed opportunity, eight of wands in reverse. Something could have happened in bad timing, too. <laughs> but whatever this is, it just taught you a lesson. But somebody else hasn't learned theirs with the three of pentacles in reverse. Or it could just be that a contract just simply didn't work out. It just, it, it served its purpose for whoever this divine feminine is. This light worker or the star seed or whatever. Okay, so let's see. This new opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor could be somebody new. This could be somebody new for this Divine Feminine. Because whoever the fuck this is that has these money problems, they're stuck with this, with the karmic or something like that. And you could be dating your real masculine, a real counterpart. Because I feel like somebody else is stuck with this Empress in reverse. It's like a lot of bullshit going on here with these counterparts and shit. Yeah, trusting spirit. What What's going on here for Aquarius? So Virgo could be significant. We have Virgo, unbalanced here. And then we have empty inside. Yeah. Who's this Virgo? Praying. That came out in reverse. So somebody here. Yeah, magic. Yeah. Praying. Wow. In reverse with magic. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, that makes sense. Somebody was doing spell work. And they are very dark. With praying in reverse, this person here was probably using the Bible because the Bible is a bunch of spells. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to get into that. But I'm just saying, like, that's the truth. All right, so somebody was doing magic or doing rituals daily or all the time or whoever this Virgo is or this Virgo could have got magic put on them or something. Yeah, for mater somebody was doing this for material, for material gain here. Yeah, what, what else? So this is why there was always an imbalance between you and somebody. Yeah, painful memories from the past, a narcissist. And then we have bondage mind control. <coughs> yeah, karmic male. Yep, a witch, a high priest. Wow. A witch high priestess. So definitely, I, this this male, this masculine has, is dealing with a karmic. They're karmic themselves. That's why I feel like y'all are not, this was a contract here that was meant to teach you something or to help you grow intuitively, to help you get in tune with this kind of occult shit because you are that's your purpose for some of you you're learning that that's your, that's your purpose to tap in this way to help people or something like that yeah and yeah okay 
Yeah, I'm getting, yeah. All right, so what's, what's bondage mind control? What is this? Important message. What's the important message with this bondage mind control? Marriage counseling. Yeah, something about somebody's marriage or their relationship is false. <laughs> so you could have been here to help awaken this person. You tapped into this energy fairly quick. I just feel like this person didn't know. They thought that they was going in something or to keep working on something, it would, it would work or whatever or pan out, but it, it didn't. This was a part of somebody's lesson here. What's, what's um, painful memories from the past? Hopeless. Hmm. Broke, low on funds, emotional baggage. Yeah, Scorpio. Could be a Scorpio here. Yeah, so somebody feels hopeless about the past. Or this is painful memories about their past, someone someone that they're dealing with from their past, <clears throat> where things never got off the ground, things never, I don't know. <laughs> but this could be what has <clears throat> gotten in the way of y'all's connection. What else? See, I'm trying to clear my fucking throat. So trusting spirit wanted to come out, choosing unavailable people, and then we have nightlife groupie. <laughs> Karmic male still at the bottom of the deck, deck with background checks. Then we have it again with kitchen amateur magic. I mean, kitchen magic amateur. <clears throat> Taken for granted, used and abused. Uh, yeah, this person was a karmic to you. This masculine. They were just stuck with somebody. They're stuck with a goddamn loser ass hoe too, though. So it's two karmics here. This damn third party and this person. <laughs> what is this nightlife groupie? Clean slate, do-over, resolutions. And then we have trusting the universe. Somebody here uses God for ill intentions. This is why they ask is going to get karma bad. With justice in reverse, they're going to get that for sure. So somebody here got with a groupie. This person could be somebody that this person already knows. They have a past with this person. They wanted a clean slate, a do-over. Or they thought that something was going to work out with this connection. They were even praying that something was working out with this third party and it didn't. It turned out really fucking bad. It's because they were under a spell. This person, they had mad. What's, what's a trusting spirit? GPS tracking. Yeah, this, yeah, karmic male still at the bottom with people pleasing. Bro, this karmic male just keep wanting to come. For some of you, this is an Aquarius man. Or you're an Aquarius and I don't know, however it's going. <laughs> Give me a second, y'all. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I'll be trying to catch that shit because I'm, I'm coughing. I'm getting phlegm out of my system. That shit is nasty as hell. All right. So, excuse me. But, so, yeah, this, okay. Somebody here was praying on something or, but the whole time they were being tracked here, this person, somebody is crazy. They're saying that you were deranged. No, this bitch here is deranged. That's, that's that with both of their ass is crazy. This karmic male and this damn, they could have worked together in some kind of way. Yeah, it says, which high priestess, tarot reader, and then we have need a job. <laughs> so this witch, this person could do, that's what I'm saying. Somebody does the same thing that you do divine feminine but they're the ones that's deranged not you you're not the one that's deranged here it's they ass they're dark so yeah something about religious beliefs spiritual shit yeah divine feminine here you are heartless love and then we have it's a no for me yeah you're you're not you're not dealing with that shit that's a, it's a no for you what's um heartless love right here self-sabotage yeah somebody was heartless they they yeah, they were not um, taking care of this connection how they needed to. All right, and they sabotaged it. What's, what's it's a no for me? No love given or received. Yeah, it's like you're done with it. Yeah, karmic male still at the bottom of the deck. People pleasing. They wanted to be a people pleaser, so there they go. Okay, bitch. Like, there you are. You stuck with the people that you chose over this divine feminine. Yeah, and y'all could have, I don't know, it's like weird. Y'all could have had some kind of contract with this person. I just feel like it, for you, it was a lesson. For them, it's supposed to be a lesson too, but they haven't learned theirs. Or if they did, it's, it's, and, and they're trying to come back to you, it's too, too, uh, too late. 
don't know, but I feel like you got what you needed from it. And I feel like the key to knowing if this person is for you or not is if you're moving further away from this person. If spirit is guiding you away, like further, then it's not for you. If y'all gonna be together, spirit gonna bring it back together. <laughs> to regardless of whoever's in the picture or whatever. But I just feel like um something is very spiritual with this connection. It's just not what you thought it was or something, you know? Number 32, here and now. Somebody could be the age 32. So focus on the present moment. Yeah, chaos and conflict. Number 33, to be fair. Yeah, that's like the justice. You could be dealing with the Libra and not for you. Yeah, to be fair. Let me see. Chaos, conflict. To be fair, not for you. TikTok. Yeah, you kept waiting. on. Yeah, this Yang energy. Treasure Island. So for some of you, yeah, time to go. For some of you, you have a new masculine coming in. That's why the Ace of Pentacles is there. Or this could be just you, you're balancing out your feminine and your masculine here. This person was brought to you to balance out your, maybe your masculine energy. If you're a divine feminine, whether you're a man or woman, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine within us. So I don't know, this person taught you how to um, take back your power, be assertive, be bold, be courageous, move forward in your life. Um, stop letting fear get in the way or whatever. And I feel like you've, this this led you to Treasure Island. This led you to finding your real person. Which, which, uh, yeah, and Spirit told you to do this with time to go and higher power to go, yeah, with exchanging gifts where you're going to go in a connection, um, you're maybe in a new connection where you're going to be getting treated fairly, you know, treated correctly. Um, I'm getting like the six of pentacles with this exchanging gifts, equal give and take a gift. Somebody could have a Taurus moon here. Somebody could be a Pisces. Um, somebody could have a Pisces Saturn because I'm getting eight of cups. So yeah, I just feel like uh yeah, you you listen to your spirit guys and moved away from somebody because they ass just can't get it together. And I just feel like they're a karmic soulmate or something about them is just very karmic. You could have thought they was the one, but I just don't feel like they are. Yeah, and so I feel like this is fair. With to be fair, things are now balanced out. <laughs> so yeah, TikTok not for you. <laughs> Yeah, you were waiting on somebody to return, and they're not for you anyway. So if that don't give you a clear indication, shit, I don't know what does, Aquarius. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments how this resonated. Like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. I'm also getting, too, with this energy where people are using other people. This is a whole, like, setup here with the on a divine feminine to take money from her or him or to get something from him, her or him to support this raggedy-ass connection that they got with this damn comic. All right, that could be a thing, too, because I feel like this karmic male, they're both karmic, and they both use magic in some kind of way. This is what I'm getting, too. I just feel like you don't know about it, or this person acts like they don't know shit about magic. They do, though. So, somebody was trying to block your Ten of Cups, or I don't goddamn know. But this is your reading, Aquarius. I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make sure you guys um press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.